All right, let's take a look at what we're doing here today. So, uh, it's only Flame Wizards, John, uh, and I got all, I posted yesterday on Instagram that I received in the mail, uh, which I pre-ordered, the Green Knight Fantasy role-playing game. So for those that aren't familiar, uh, the Green Knight is a, a, is a film by A24 Films. Uh, it's coming out here uh, hopefully soon. I hope that they're going to do direct release, which is going to kind of suck, but they're going to hopefully come out soon, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and they decided to release a role-playing game for it uh, up front. And it's a little cool kind of classic box set. And so as you can see, it reminds a lot of the red box type setup. And uh, it's, you know, pretty straightforward. Kind of has a story like in the movie. Um, but I thought I'd give a quick review of it and kind of show what it's about and how it kind of works. And it's actually a pretty clever little system um, and such. So, but you can still get it through uh, the a 24 website. They have a store on there. You can go get all kinds of cool stuff and the like. But I'll show the contents off and kind of talk about what it plays like and what the kind of premise of it is and how it works. Um, so it's actually like pretty pretty simple system to be honest. Uh, there, it's not a complicated um, setup. So essentially, in it, uh, you have a game master, you have players. Uh, usually, it's it's at least two players, um, and the premise of it is that you somehow encountered the Green Knight a year ago, and then there's this thing that like a year from that date that you are going to go meet him. In the green chapel and so the players kind of converge as the people who all simultaneously at some point a year ago met the green knight um and they ask you some basic questions in terms of your character uh you know where were you, you know where were you when you met the green knight like, what was the circumstance of meeting them um why did you strike at them so if you did strike at the green knight that means they were the green knight will return to you what you've done to them and then um, in that whole year since you met the Green Knight, what have you been doing? And that's the, basically the character generation uh, for the most part. There's a little bit more technical stuff that we'll get into here in a second. But those are the box contents quick. So first off, it comes with a really cool looking die. It's kind of a green and black die with some kind of cool font. Pretty straightforward. Um, it comes with the uh, rule book, which is also the adventure uh, game master's guide, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, you know, it's not the thickest thing, but it's maybe like about 30 pages long or something like that, but it's got some, you know, nice kind of, uh, imagery in it, kind of the basic rules and with a full-blown quest in the back. Um, I honestly think you could play the adventure in probably about, um, three to four hours, maybe one, one, two sessions. And then it comes with, um, character sheets, which, uh, you can photocopy and such too. They're one-sided, um, for all the different characters that are in the game, which is basically, there's the hunter, the knight, um... The sorcerer, the noble, and I think the bard is the last one, yeah. And so you play one of those, and uh, you you also get a uh, map of the land with uh, Camelot down here at the bottom. So it kind of gives you an idea of where you are, the goal, or something like that, if you're going to use it. Uh, the core adventures are really needed, but you could use it for future adventures and such. So let's talk about the system real quick. Um, basically, you don't have hit points. You don't have, um, you do have skills and abilities. So you have um, five abilities, which is courage, might, intellect, cunning, and charm. And then you have different skills amongst those as well. Um, the difference between the characters is this. Uh, they have different special abilities. So everyone gets a special move, and that's kind of like what your character is good at. And it's one thing you can do that nobody else can do. So it might be like time, a way to lead. It might be a way to hunt. It might be... Um, Way to defend yourself, stealth strikes. Uh, I think there's like a magic one in here too. Um, stuff like that, you know. Yeah, you can somehow like create fire or whatnot. But it's pretty straightforward. That's the only real difference in the characters. Um, and character generation takes, I mean, it's just like 45 seconds. So it's really short. Um, but the real core of the game is here at the top of this sheet is this, uh, we just say, scale of dishonor. That's, that's the big trick here. So, Basically, there are no hit points. There is nothing but dishonor. Um, and so you start at 10 dishonor, and the game just uses the d20, that's it, nothing else. And the idea is that like, when, when you do an action, all actions are divided into two types of actions. There's honorable, dishonorable. Um, and the game master basically determines, when you declare your action, they determine if that's an honorable action or a dishonorable action. Um, you essentially, it's not so much you die, but you dishonor out. Um, if your dishonor hits, uh, 20 uh you, you're over unless someone unless like another player helps you atone which is another kind of mechanic um and what what it does is that if you have if you're committing an honorable action you have to you have to roll uh higher than your dishonor and 
if you're rolling a dishonorable action, you have to roll less than your dishonor. So the more, so you can keep on making things easier and easier by engaging in dishonor, but uh, it, it it does lead to your kind of demise that that you're no longer worthy of the Green Knight, you're no longer worthy to do any of this kind of stuff, or nobody wants to be with you type situation. And the the adventure is kind of divided up into encounters, where these encounters are kind of like, they kind of determine your honor based on what you interact with them and stuff like that too. It's kind of neat. Um, and you can actually turn actions into like, uh, and you have what's called virtues and vices, which are basically like if you, you can engage in a virtue, which is a way to help you commit to a better, an honorable action, giving you a bonus to your role or a penalty depending on what you need. While uh, vices can be used to, to help your dishonor, and you can use your virtue towards your dishonor if you want to as well. So it's kind of a neat little system. Um, and it plays through, I don't want to give away the ending, but it's, it's got some pretty cool endings actually in it uh, in terms of how, how you play it out. Um, that said, it, it's not like an RPG you're going to sit there and play over and over again. Like you're not going to sit there and, and play this over and over again. You're probably going to do this once, maybe twice. But it does like a really kind of cool little adventure. Um, cool, really straightforward system, really streamlined, very fast, very easy. Um, be good for novices, a good way to introduce people to role playing games. Um, it is a narrative driven game, it is not a simulation whatsoever. Um, but I, yeah, I'm kind of liking it. I, I think I'm going to try it out with some friends here at one point. Um, I haven't seen the movie, I, I, you know, I, I, it looks fantastic. You haven't go look up the trailer for the Green Knight. It looks, uh, I think it's Dev Patel's in it. Patel, he was in um, uh, Slumdog Millionaire. He's been in a lot of stuff, he's a fantastic actor. Uh, but I, you know, I like the Arthurian stuff, stuff like that. So I think it could be one of the best um, kind of like medieval fantasy films ever. But um, yeah, it's kind of a neat little RPG. Thirty-five bucks on their on their website. Um, I like it. Uh, it has a really kind of cool um, nostalgic feeling for me um, in terms of how they kind of used it. Um, it's kind of cool die. I'll probably be using that later on too. But it's it's not like a complex game, but it's not meant to be. It's meant to be kind of a cool kind of narrative, sit down and kind of engage in this kind of storytelling. Um, I think there's a big emphasis on storytelling. And this dishonor mechanic is really fascinating because they don't talk about you gaining honor. You don't gain honor. You just negate dishonor. And I think that's really cool that dishonor is such a um, threat. Uh, it definitely kind of keeps the pace of the game. So, but yeah, the Green Knight role-playing game, uh, you know, give it a shot. You can take a look at it, go online, look at it, grab it. Um, it's got some cool art in it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a very basic adventure. Um, they, you know, they kind of, you know, how do you, it tells you how to play. It's a good introduction to role-playing games. Um, one of my favorite mechanics in this too is an initiative. Whenever you roll initiative, so like the longer, the more rounds you take to, to engage an encounter, the more dishonor you gain. You gain one dishonor every time there's a round. And it's because you're delaying your time to the Green Knight. You're delaying what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so this is kind of like interesting kind of like double-edged sword of honor and dishonor that you're that you have this thing that's this honorable thing you're supposed to be doing but at the same time you're hesitant to you're still hesitating you're not on that on that path um, but if you still but if you were to run away from a certain encounter you still you're then dishonorable so it's like it's this kind of dishonor mitigation game you're playing is really interesting um, as a, as a mechanic, but um, I, like, I do like the system. I, I like how it kind of plays out, and that like this, every on, action you do is honorable or dishonorable. So, but yeah, Green Knight Roll, fantasy role playing game. Uh, A24 uh, is the uh, company that's putting it out. Um, I think they, I don't know, was there, I can't remember if there was even credits in this thing. I think it's, uh, yeah, I don't think there's any credits in this whatsoever, um, which is really, really weird for a role playing game. It's more of what the company did it for, my guess is that. Uh, they hired an outside consultant to do this, and this basically part of it was like, you don't get any credit. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. There's no there's no name on it um, in terms of the company that did it, so it's from H24. So it's, it seems like they either hired an outside consultant did it in-house or some of that effect. It's really kind of neat. Uh, I like the mystique of it. So, but yeah, go give it a shot. You know, um, I might I might try to run it with some friends here. Hell, maybe we can, maybe we can just upload the video. We could run it with them. Run it with them and upload it to YouTube or something like that. We'll see. So, but all right, man. Green Knight role playing game. Take a look. All right. See you guys later, man. Take it easy.